and teaching you the lessons of life, all I can say to you, you have what it takes to make it happen. I want you to stop limiting your beliefs. Limiting your beliefs is stunning your growth. Limiting your beliefs is putting you at a halt for you to get to the next level. They looked at the most successful men and women of the world and they found that they had like seven, eight things in common. And one of the things they all had in common was a routine. They are obsessed with their routine. They don't have a gap of wasted time they routine. You know, I realized the reason why I'm so successful and the reason why I don't get in trouble like I used to when I was younger is because when I was younger, man, my schedule had so many gaps in it. I got up the other day like at three o'clock in the morning and I woke up and I was just walking around like, I was like, I'm so tired. I heard the devil say, go back to sleep. I was like, yeah, you're right. I should go back to sleep. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. I was like, bro, you want to something. I just got to get up at three and get all my work done before y'all get up. I just got to make all my phone calls while y'all still sleep. I just got to make all my phone calls while y'all party. In order for you to believe in yourself, in order for you to get to another level in life, you need to understand that winners win and losers lose. Winners don't make excuses on why they can't get something accomplished, but losers do. Winners stay consistent. Winners are the ones for the change in this world. How do you think you're too smart? You're strong enough! How do you think you're too strong? See, to be strong, I need you to be weak. I, I need you to be vulnerable and say, you know what, I can't do it by myself. I don't need this false humility. I need you to be real because the next time you get an opportunity, you gotta be ready because we're turning dreams into reality. Let's make it happen right now, me and you. Let's make it happen right now, me and you, because you're smart enough. Losers, they have a limited belief system in their self of making excuses, procrastinating, being lazy. And we're going to make it happen, my man. Hey, sister, we're going to make it happen, but you got to get out your comfort zone. you got to do something you've never done before to get something you never had. we got to make it happen, and you got to take advantage of it. you got to maximize the moment to make it happen. So I'm talking to somebody right now because there's somebody that's believing in you and that's cheering you on and that's supporting you, and they're rooting for you, but you're not doing what you need to do in order for you to maximize your potential. So right now you're being a loser. And what I need for you to do and what I need for you to become and who I need you to be is I need you to be a winner. Why? Because winners win and losers lose. So I need you to stop making excuses and I need you to move forward and I need you to change and I need you to do the things that you need to do in order for you to win. Because winners win. The clock keeps ticking. I need you to rise up right now. And I need you to create something good. Make it happen. Let me break this down just for a moment. Make means to create something. Now I'm not even going to talk about creating something good. I'm not going to talk about creating something bad. Make it happen. What I'm talking about is that when you make something, you create that thing. And so my question for you is simple. You already know how to create something. In fact, you've created something already. Don't look at me like that. Don't look dumbfounded. You are too old to realize that you have not made something already. You've been on this earth way too long not to understand that. You have been designed by God to create. You're innovative. You're passionate. But my question is, do you like what you have created? so far I mean think about it based on your life up until this moment do you like what you have created so far are you proud of what you created so far are you excited about what you created so far by what you created so far does it make you happy see I've seen millions of people who've been successful I've seen millions of people that are successful I mean, they made it happen. This whole world is full of people making it happen. So the question for you is right now, do you like what you made so far? See, successful people who make it happen and feel good about what they do, they listen to the right people. 
They wake up every morning, look in that mirror, and they feel good about themselves every single day. They contribute to society. They lift up other people. The contributions they make to this world aren't tearing people down. They are lifting people up. You've been making stuff happen your whole life. I gotta ask you a question. I gotta talk directly to you. Have you made the right thing happen? Listen to me very closely. You keep saying you ain't on the next level because the economy. You keep saying you ain't on the next level because of racism. You keep saying you ain't on the next level because it ain't the season. You keep saying you ain't on the next level because they don't love you. You keep saying you ain't on the next level because the opportunity ain't there. The truth of the matter is that you ain't there because you ain't there. Some of you, you know what you want. You know what you want, but you are not personally willing to do the work it takes to get it. What you're trying to do is do what you've done on this level and get the next level. You're trying to do exactly what you're doing on this level. you like, I'm getting up every day. I'm putting in two and a half. I'm putting in three, and I'm not getting the opportunity. The opportunity might require three and a half. I'm lifting weights. I'm eating right, and I'm not getting the opportunity. It might require getting up and working out three and a half. It might require you saying no to your friends. It might require you changing your diet. It might require you moving to another city. Whatever it takes, you gotta be willing to do it, and you keep saying you're not there because of something else, because it's easier to blame somebody else. Because now you don't gotta do no work when you blame somebody else. Guess who gotta do the work? They gotta do the work. But guess who got the power? They got the power. So what I'm telling you to do, since you hate being told what to do, you're going to have to fix yourself since you don't like nobody else telling you what to do. If you could fix procrastination, what would your life be like? You, you understand what I'm saying? People like E.T., I want to do what you do. No, you don't. I'm my own boss. When I worked at Michigan State, I had to be to work at 9 o'clock. When I work for myself, I get up at 3. When I worked at Michigan State, I get to leave at 5. When you work for yourself, you don't have no time when you get off. You don't get off. You stop when the work is done. If you work for yourself, you'd be asleep all day. You'd be like, I work for myself. I'm good. I ain't even getting up today. You know what I'm saying? I'm just taking a day off. I'm just being real. There are those of you who work for yourself. You don't even have a plan. You don't even have like a, a vacation package for yourself. You just get to get off whenever you want to. What kind of job is that? You can just take off when you want to? That ain't no real job. You ain't got no insurance. You ain't paying yourself. You ain't, oh, but when you had a job, you could get there for them when they wanted you to get there. Oh, you had to tell them when you was gonna be sick, when you want, but for yourself, you ain't gotta do nothing? That's why you can't blow up. You ain't got enough discipline to discipline you. I came today because I care about you. I came today because I love you. You gotta make it happen, and it is who you are. It has got to be your focus every day. You got to focus on it. I made it to the NBA because I couldn't get it out of my mind. I couldn't get it out of my face. I worked on it every day, all day. I became a motivational speaker. I'm no different than you. I'm not smarter than you. But let me tell you one thing I understand. I had to make it happen and so can you. Until you become accountable, it's hard for you to move. I need you to own it right now. Because when you raise your hands in victory, I want you to own that too. But right now, we gotta make this move. What happened to you just now? I don't wanna hear about your challenges. We all got them. I don't wanna hear about your limitations. What? We all got them. I don't wanna hear about your haters. What? We all got them. In fact, if you don't have haters, your vision is too small. If you don't have haters, you ain't been thinking big enough. Haters are a part of the landscape to make it happen. So can I ask you a question? What are you working on right now? But if you're gonna make it happen, we gotta build it from scratch. All you gotta do is follow the recipe to success. The blueprint has already been set. Life is simple if simple principles are applied. I'm going to say that one more time. Life is simple if simple principles are applied. And I'm going to break it down even further in just a moment. There's no shortcut to your success. There is absolutely no shortcut to success. An inheritance gained quickly will not be blessed in the end. Ain't no fast money. Ain't no fast success. If it's fast, don't want it. If it's quick, run away. Success is like a slow drip. You already know what it takes to be successful. 
I just need you to believe. I just need you to buy in. I just need you to execute. You learned in the first grade what it took to be successful. You learned in the fifth grade what it took to be successful. You heard it over and over in high school what it took to be successful. The key right now, you need to believe it. 